Good day, everyone. <laughs> You're welcome to your favorite show. I'm happy to be in the house today. You're welcome to the Arts Arena. My name is Helen Paul, and in the house I have special guests. Um, they will introduce themselves because I, when I was coming, I misplaced their profile, but <laughs> please forgive me, it's fine. <laughs> wow, Helen Paul needs no introduction, really. <laughs> I took your job today. <laughs> It's fine, well, it's, it's fine. It's always, it's, it's a delight to have you in the studio. Our guest for today ha needs no introduction. Yeah. She is the delectable Helen Paul. Thank drum you roll, for joining us. Roll, <laughs> 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 Helen, it's so good to have you on the show. It's so good to have you guys on and my show. <laughs> Okay, it's so good to be on your show. Thank you. Uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you some questions. Okay. Is that okay? No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Feel okay. good. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Now, you know, I, I took out the time to um, look at the, the definition of performing How arts. many hours did you spend? How many hours? Um, well, minutes. Really. Oh, good. Minutes. Good. Uh, and <laughs> I'm just smart like that. You know, yeah, yeah, you know, it's I'm just smart like that. Minutes, yeah. look at yeah. some questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I found out that um, you know performing art, arts has to do with um, using voices, you know, mm. body movements, mm. you know, to, to, to for an you know creative expression. Yes. You know, I just want to know to you, mm. how would you define you know performing arts? Performing arts, become a joke. You understand? Become a solo. Because like, you've given the definition and you're asking me again. Well, it's okay. It's just expression. Expressing yourself the way you feel through music, yeah. through dance, through yo yo, yeah, two finger in the head, through rap, you know. I just feel just straight up. That's it. You've given this definition. So. Okay, you've, you've answered that, you know, I mean, brilliantly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Another, do you want to try and ask some questions? I, I, will, I will give it, you know, a try. Yeah, just try, um, just try. <laughs> Okay, I want to be serious. Yeah. No, no, please. We, we like you being <laughs> Helen Paul. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, so you are very visible in the industry today. Yes, I use mirror a lot, so I see it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I know, you can make it, you can make it, you yes, can make it. Just I can, try. I can try. do this, I can do this. Yeah. So you are very visible. Yes. You are someone in, you know, in the performing arts. You dance. You act, you're a TV host, and I just found out that you sing. I mean, she has a fantastic mm, mm, voice. Mm, mm. Any oh album God. in the works? You know, so <laughs> how do you find the performing arts industry as it is right now? As it is right now, it's fine. Everybody expressing themselves in their best way. Like on YouTube, I see some people without talking, they do, they do imitate things and you know they are imitating without mentioning the person's name. <laughs> then, right now, for me, I just express myself. I wake up today and I feel like being a sanguine, very playful and noisy, mm -hmm. I will do it. If I wake up tomorrow and I want to be a melancholy, quiet, and I will be quiet and I will record myself <laughs> and I will put it on Instagram because mm. that's where it's raining for me now. So. <laughs> That's an outlet for expression. Yes, yeah. I just express myself the best way I like to express myself. And I see that not only me, everybody generally, the whole wide world, they are expressing themselves in the best way they can. And, yeah. and people are getting their lessons from there. True comedy, true singing, mm. true acting, tragedy, everything 
performing is performing art is really growing and is really impacting lives in general. <laughs> so, so Hel Helen Paul. Sir. Um, now I don't know. A lot of people don't know that you are actually, you know, a trained theatre artist. Am I am I right to, to say that? Yes, I study creative. I study theatre, but okay. creative arts in the University of Lagos, and my major is theatre. Okay. For my year one to year three, I did visual art. I used to draw. Really? I used to dance. Okay. Wow. I used to do bead. And I was happy learning all of that because in case one market closed, the other one would <laughs> And I would, I would still have money to eat. Yes. That's so very important. Multiple streams of income. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You, you know a co-market is not one way. Different <laughs> entrance. You can come in through Yimbo. You can come in through Tomela. You can come in through Obalende. <coughs> anyway. <coughs> You know, you you know I know a lot of people are cracking up right now, but there's, you're actually making a lot of sense. That's the honest <laughs> truth. And, you know, you, there was something you said earlier about, you know, um, the general practice of, you know, theatre arts. Yes. In your own opinion, yes. you know, in Nigeria, what would you say are the visible, notable changes that have occurred? Okay. In my own field, we treat societal issues comically, but at the same time, you must learn. We, sure. For this program, you're yeah. teaching, entertaining, informing people about things. Yeah. Yeah. But really, uh, the truth be told, performance has really helped people mm -hmm. in learning things. Not mm -hmm. everybody has the time to sit down to read books, True. but they can see a movie. Mm -hmm. Helen of Troy, people can see it in the movie. Mm -hmm. um, the Christ uh, movie. Mm -hmm. People are seeing it in the movie. Everything is in the book, it's in the yeah, scripts. But yeah. through performance, people get to learn things and see things and understand things better, either through mime, through dance, mm. through um, acting, through rap, different means. So performance is really doing large and it's really imparting lives. Take, mm -hmm. for instance, the newspapers. People write, but some people don't have time to sit down to read papers. True. But we discovered that through performance, creativity, you know, new new ideas. People now read news in Pidgin and when they're reading it, they read it dramatically. They don't just read it like a newscaster. Yeah. You know, so we now have it in, even in Pidgin. People yeah. are reading more like radio drama, yeah. more like, okay, performing it on stage mm -hmm. after after listening to it, so people will come mm -hmm. again like, oh, when I listen to so 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 so, so program, this yeah. is what they said. They now said the government. So people are learning and, yeah. you yes. know, so it's really helping the society. It's making the society. Everybody now is getting it. You know, I went to Benin, and the way a, a, a young guy came on stage to imitate our president was really funny. Mm. There was something I didn't understand before, though I've been hearing of it, I didn't understand it. But when the guy came on stage to act it, I got to understand it. Yeah. You know, though I was laughing, but at the same time, I got the you, lesson. You got so, perform about, yes, okay. performance really helps. The different ways of expression. So, if you express it this way, I don't get it. Another person will express it this way, I will get it. So, yeah. it's really helping the society. <laughs> Are you a creative person? Are you looking for the right partner to help you transform your talent into your business? We can help with that. First Bank SME Connect. Visit sme.firstbanknigeria.com to find out more. You first. First Bank. That, um, you know, performing art, arts has to do with um, using voices, you know, mm. body movements, mm. you know, to, to, to for an, you know, creative expression. Yes. You know, I just want to know, to you, mm. how would you define, you know, performing arts? Performing arts. Be Kamajo. You understand? Be Kamajo Soro. Because you've given the definition and you're asking me again. Well, it's okay. It's just expression. Expressing yourself the way you feel through music, yeah. through dance, through yo, yo, yeah, two finger in the head, through rap, you know. As you feel just straight up, that's it. You've given the definition, so. Okay, you've, you've answered that, you know, I mean, brilliantly. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back. This is the Arts Arena. How do we harness this potential how do we export how do we show ourselves yeah. more to the world it's simple now my sister mm. let me give you an example okay the way we drink tea here who are the owners of the tea the tea is by which people 
is still our own. No. <laughs> eh? No. But we go. Do we drink Agbo, it? Agbo is ours. But is it good? Very, yeah, very medicinal. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> See, foreigners. <laughs> <laughs> No, so I've heard. It's not like I drink it or anything. No, we drink I... tea more than no. the owners of tea. <laughs> true, in true, fact, true, in true, schools true, true. now, you see some people learning how to drop spoon, how mm. not to drop spoon. Foreign mm. etiquette. Yeah. But we're not learning our own culture mm. of seeing an adult in the bus and standing up for them to sit. Mm. Now we go, I paid, they paid, so everybody paid. So we're losing that training. Mm. We're not keeping it. Now you see people wearing suits. We have some people that will tell you, I, don't, I can't wear native. Mm. I'm not a native. I'm not native. Mm. Mm. Just that. Uh, mm. But then, oh, our parents, when they were saying I'm Africa, Nigeria was mm. a giant of Africa, they will show the same Ankara for seven people. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm not saying they should do that again, mm. but there are ways we can modify things, make things look a bit fine. Even when you're wearing the jeans, put that Ankara mm -hmm. and let it work out, you know. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me suit all the way. Mm -hmm. Most of our materials, we're not even appreciating that. Like mm -hmm. the way you're wearing it, it's yeah. really nice, I like yeah. it. But when you thank want you, to, <laughs> baby, go and sit down. <laughs> okay, let me give you an example. Yeah. Nigerian being a, the giant of Africa, what do you think made it the giant of Africa? I think it was the things that we did, the, the, the things that we exported as well. Our great, economy. just our, yeah. our economy then, great artworks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I remember I read in a book that all our artwork then in Benin, many of them were taken away by... Many of them are in the British Museums. Yeah. Do you understand? Still. They're still there. Mm -hmm. And we can do more. But the people doing artwork now are not being encouraged. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't do it, but other African countries like Gambia, it's Cameroon... No, but it's the truth. Yeah. Gambia, Cameroon, all of these people, they still try to sell theirs. And we make them feel like, oh, no, you are ras. It's not, mm. you know, it's not. Now, even the, to our education here, you see Minister of Education children schooling abroad. Mm. Mm. And you want us to grow. It's not possible. Yeah. Then the schools here, they're not paying attention to them. It's not nice. The arts department, you're not paying attention to them. It's not nice. You still have some parents saying, no, I want you to speak strictly English. If I hear vernacular <laughs> in my house, it's, it's not vernacular, yeah. it's your language. Yeah, language yeah. You can't be Tusha than the owners of the Tush things. You, you mm. can't be Tusha. Then when, Africa, when Americans or Germany or um, Cameroonians or let me, uh, Canad Canadians come yeah. to our country, Everything they see in their country, they see the fake here. here. Not replicated. <laughs> the, the, the substandard. It's fake. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that correction. They see this thing here. Yeah. So you can't tell them, oh, this is the original. They yeah. know the owners of yeah. this thing. So let's yeah. try and sell our, our own. own. Yeah. Very, very, very interesting. Point. Let's try and sell yeah. our, our own. Our designs, our fabric. Yes. Our, our artists will be performing big time, you know, to sing proper song, do our own culture. People won't go and buy tickets, but let Beyonce come. Mm. Mm. True. Tell them Tiwa Savage is having a show, a co hotel. Beyonce is having a show in Akuta Jun. You will be shocked. <laughs> <laughs> that people will drive to Akute <laughs> and you want to see Beyonce. So let's appreciate our own. Our things work. It's our own. If you don't appreciate yourself, people won't appreciate you there. You want to come into the movie industry. You're telling me I don't watch Nigerian movie. Mm. Nobody will watch you. Thank you so much, <laughs> Ellen Paul. It's, it's been wonderful having you on the show. Um, and Adol, do you want to you know, do the honors and present um, Helen with that? Helen. Um, I wish I could just give myself to you <laughs> as a gift to do as well. But on behalf of the Art Arena and our sponsor, First Bank, we would like to present. From you know down that side, let me okay. decide. <laughs> Thank you. There's an old saying in Nigeria, a single tree cannot make a forest. At First Bank, we started from humble beginnings. And with prudent management and bold acquisitions, we have grown to meet the needs of our customers throughout Nigeria and beyond. You first. First Bank. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is still the Arts Arena. Earlier on, we had Helen Paul on the show and she cracked us up. <laughs> and um, uh, uh, we're so happy to have these wonderful people as our guests today. We have Ugoma Adegoke. She is a, an art curator and the co-founder of Lifehouse. And also Dayo Liadi. 
He's a prolific dancer and he's the president of Guild of Nigerian Dancers. Yeah. Yes. And Dance Guild of some Nigeria. of you might not recognize Dyer now uh, because uh, <laughs> this is a this is new look. Yeah, he, he used to have dreads. You, you might remember him from, from um, the music video, L'Oreal Co. How are you doing, sir? I'm good, thank how, you. The, I feel like asking you, how is the dance ministry? Is that, is that okay? Yeah, uh, we are surviving. Okay? Okay. We are surviving. <laughs> <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Now, uh, Ugoma, yes. tell us a bit about Lifehouse. Uh, the Lifehouse is uh, an organization that I formed in 2009 with my husband, Dio. Okay. Um, our oh, primary your name is Dio? Yes. Okay. Well, I just wanted to put it yes, out there. Yes, it is. Yes, <laughs> Dio. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah. our objective really was um, to create a platform, a physical platform, mm -hmm. where Nigerian art and culture could be enjoyed by mm -hmm. the public. Um, and we could also disseminate sort of unknown things about our culture to ourselves. Mm. Um, it became a virtual concept in 2012 when we had to leave our premises and what seemed like a really bad um, omen, mm. and we're very sad about that, mm. actually became the best thing um, for me in terms of my career okay. because it, it buttressed to me the fact that the content and the, what was inside of the building was much more important than the building. Sure. And so since 2012, we've become an even more prolific producer of multi-arts and cultural and experiential events, um, which include film festivals, art exhibitions, music showcases, mm. book readings, you, you, na you name it. That's, that's, that's <laughs> interesting. <to> yeah. <laughs> uh, um, Dayo, uh, you know, earlier on before the camera started rolling, uh, we were discussing, you know, about, you know, how the dance scene has changed. You know, I mean, what, what are some of the changes you've seen? Uh, uh, there was a time you, uh, that, that, that couldn't be described as a career, really, in Nigeria, that, oh, you're a dancer, that's what you do. You know, but today it's a different story, you know. What are some of the, the transitions you've seen, you know, with time? Uh, generally, uh, we have so many new stuff happening now around Nigeria uh, okay. about dance and uh, but I would say uh, maybe not all of them is really real because in Nigeria generally we kind of uh, try to be like somebody else to kind of copy and paste and that mm. is what is really happening in Nigeria mm. and uh, I'm very happy that dance has really improved in Nigeria but I'm not happy that we don't have well-trained dancers that's just a major okay. problem uh, it has changed uh, uh, in terms of more awareness for the uh, dance industry but mm. uh, in terms of uh, the, the real um, professional dancers uh, it's it's not there yet because we don't really have people who can really teach dance we mm. have very few people who can really teach dance, but mm. we have many people who can dance. Mm. Um, Dayo, you've been doing dance for a while, and... Um, uh, uh, sorry, can you can you say that again? Uh, <laughs> no, I just, I, I didn't hear. Professionally, well, yeah. 27 years, and... Uh, mm. Uh, mm. Yeah, that, that is a long time. Altogether, is about 32 years. That is a long time. You've yeah. seen a lot in this industry. Sure, sure. Um, what are some of the major challenges you faced when you started out? Uh, I would say we almost all the dancers in Nigeria we have the same almost the same uh, uh, story kind story of, yeah okay. because first of all the family will say no mm. and which means mm. you have to keep pushing mm. and they will tell you, you have to go to school you have to do mm. this you have to do that or you have to be your father or your mother as in you have to do what they what are they're doing, doing. Yeah. yeah and uh, that uh, makes me really mad at mm. the stage mm. <laughs> at the beginning mm. and uh, I, I had to hold on to my dream mm. because I wasn't I wasn't habit, uh, happy doing any other thing apart mm. from dancing and and uh, it took uh, years before my dad could really be convinced uh, it was when my dad uh, uh, see he, he was with me at the airport when I was mm. traveling out for the first time 1994 November mm. so and dance was, took you out yes okay <laughs> I okay. got a scholarship actually okay. all my dance education was sponsored. It was scholarship, scholarship. Okay, you know, I wanted to emphasize that again for, <laughs> you know, because people get carried away sometimes. So they're so passionate about the arts and mm. you actually went to dance school. Yes. I mean, you, you, yes. you had the flair for it. You had the affinity sure. for it, but sure. you knew it was important sure. for sure. you. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, yeah. I was I was, uh, I was in a workshop organized okay. by the French government here in Nigeria and we were 267 dancers from all over Nigeria, not mm. east, west and south, everybody yeah. together, including the National Dance Company. Mm. And we were there and then every week they screened people. Yeah. You know, from 267 then 
to 52 mm. Mm. and after three months and uh, I was invited that uh, would you like to go to, the, to France to study France I mean to study dance would you like, like to <laughs> would you like I to like, I mean <laughs> yeah, and that was I don't know maybe that was like two three years after my secondary <laughs> education and I was mm. like why not mm. because this is what I've been fighting for yeah. for years yeah, with my family validation. even before yeah. I finished my secondary education it yeah. was talk of war between mm. me and my dad most especially mm. but I love my mom Hmm. She will always come behind her and tell me, you know, uh, ah, even if he says no, ah. no I, I could see you enjoying it. I would be praying for you, just go ahead. So, so when daddy was shouting, she was like, yes, yes, yes my son, yes. listen. My, listen. Mom, my mommy wouldn't say anything in hmm. front of my dad because yeah. of the respect. Wow. And uh, hmm. I, would, I would just be watching at my mom, looking at her face, you know, say, don't worry, I'll make you proud, I'll make you proud. Hmm. But I'm very happy after many years, you know, I was able to get to a particular stage in my mm. life where my dad would see that this is really uh, a profession and mm. uh, he's very happy now when I'm going up before when I'm going out you will say ah are you not going for your relaxer or what do you call it <laughs> instead of <laughs> relaxer uh, yes. <laughs> then now when I'm going out you say ah, Dario, are you not going to work today aha so, oh it has turned to work now, work now. yeah <laughs> yeah okay so it, it takes years you know of uh, uh try you know doing mm. it again again and again mm. to make mm. sure uh, 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 they could see it as what it's supposed to be and i'm very happy today this is what i'm feeding the whole of my family with you know how has it been for you like you know um i, I don't know what your background is originally <laughs> but i mean you do all these things now my first entry into the creative space was through fashion mm. and when i started uh, my brand zebra living mm. my dad actually didn't speak to me for two years oh so my now goodness. after this you now <laughs> taylor he was very very upset until one of the t one of the features that we had in one of the magazines, and I went to the village once to see him, and I saw it on his, on the table. Oh! And uh, he was like, "Oh, my daughter, have you oh. have you seen her? She's in, oh. Have you seen her in the magazine?" <laughs> and it's so oh. funny how you know it was nice to hear that because eventually, when you when you do it and you do it yeah. and you succeed, I think yeah. our parents want us to succeed. True. Uh, our culture hasn't really shown us the way of art and culture as a career, but mm. if you're convicted yeah. and you do it, and mm. you eventually these parents will become the ones who are proud and praying for us. So yeah. that was my, that's how I entered into, into the space. But of course I have a business background, or at least I'm trained to yeah. think about business. Mm. The, the ability to structure for mm. artists who yeah. are much more free and free flowing and are designed to be and should be for their art to be true mm. you then you do need a, back, a backbone which mm. is more administrative and business focused so mm. that the two work together mm. um, and and i've done i've spent much more time in my career now doing that um, you know much more curatorial work yeah. for visual artists mm. for you know film artists um, you know for musical artists so it, they both they're both important very and important the, and the two actually as very what important creates the very value important. actually yeah. the two together is what creates the real value hmm. Welcome back. This is the Arts Arena. So, Dio, I want you to speak to, you know, the young, the young Dio, let me put it that way, you mm -hmm. know, who's just trying to start out, you know, uh, uh, being a, a creative entrepreneur, maybe a dancer, maybe a, an actor, whatever, you know, just 
talk to the person. What, what would you tell that person right now? Uh, and I, I want to go on to say something as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah ahead, I think uh, it, no, for a young person who is just coming up, who mm. wants to be a creative artist, who, who wants to be an entrepreneur, so I think they should first be very prayerful. Mm. You have to be very close to God, and you have to be very focused. You have to be, you have to work hard. Mm. Or, or also, you have to make sure you you're doing it because you really want to do it. Yeah. Because you can do anything. Because if you, if you don't do it, if possible, like I told myself at the stage, I'm going to commit suicide. Mm. If I don't die, so, yeah, mm. I left my parents after mm. some years. Mm. It was after a few years that <clears throat> that I went back then. They saw the success and mm. that was how it started booming. Mm. I, 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 I think they should be focused. Mm. They shouldn't let anything, even their mother's cry, shouldn't derail them wow. from getting powerful, powerful, to their powerful, dreams. Powerful. And then they should make sure they go to school. Very important. Yeah. <laughs> Improve your craft. Improve your craft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Ugo, I want you to say something. Well, you know, um, you know, especially from your experience yeah. where you know your parents were supportive initially you know that's my dad yeah my mom okay, my mom is my mom is, uh, <laughs> is that my mom is at every single function mm -hmm. i have including she even rsvps when nobody asks her to fantastic, rsvp fantastic. um but i would say to my younger self um mm -hmm. you know definitely believe in your convictions and mm -hmm. in this thing that you want to do um study mm. because being an expert is an is an important part of validation yeah. i would advise that people that have a passion for something should investigate deeper into that passion mm. and to be, to be certain that that passion truly is theirs because mm. once it's yours then you just have to dive into being an expert mm. um, and every day should be about getting better every day should be about getting better and once you have achieved that expertise the the rest the rest will happen mm. The rest will happen. Your identity will be formed. You know, recognition comes, and uh, I believe that the other thing I would say, especially for people who want to practice in the arts, whether as an artist or even a sort of uh, enabler of the artist, yeah. is that p pursue excellence and a convict, a compelling story mm. first of all. Yeah. Um, not money first. Mm. The money will certainly come, it will come yeah. but pursuing it for for commerce sake first is the, is the wrong way wrong is way the wrong go. way around mm. thank you so yeah. much goma thank you dio it's been so 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 refreshing having you on the show thank um you. we have a thank gift you. for you oh. from our sponsors thank you first bank that's thank for you. you and that's for you dio thank, thank you very much thank you for coming on the show I, i'm sure when we reach out to you again you will you'll come we will yeah thank Definitely. you for having us all right guys that's the show. Thank you for sticking around. I'm sure you enjoyed every bit of it. We'll see you next time. It's the Art Arena. Goodbye.